The Olympic flame is no longer burning in Sochi, and many of our Canadian athletes are now back on home soil, feeling triumphant. Hey, Canada! <laughs> it was incredible, um, you know, to have my family there and, and to watch them and, and see how happy they were for me. It was the best moment of my life. It was really, really cool to see the camaraderie and the patriotism and, and uh, seeing how everyone from all the different sports would get together and, and, uh, and cheer on Canada. Mike Riddle and Dara Howell, both medalists in freestyle skiing, were among those who arrived at Toronto's Pearson Airport. Canada's goal going into this Olympics was to win the most hardware. We didn't quite accomplish that, but our Own the Podium program appears to be paying off, and the Canadian Olympic Committee hopes to ride on that success, as Mike Armstrong reports. Can you show one more time, please? <laughs> Canada's athletes arriving back in Canada have reason to be proud. Pretty big. The medal results in Sochi fell one short of the Vancouver Games, 25 versus 26, but were arguably even more impressive. One of the people making that argument, the head of the Vancouver Games himself. You know, our performance in Sochi was better than Vancouver. John Furlong says winning on the road is tougher. Either way, the trend is going in the right direction. Canada's medal hall at each Winter Olympics over the last four decades has been better than the one before. In fact, when we hosted in Calgary, Canada only won five, and that was an improvement over the previous two. Canada appears to have learned from a mistake made in Calgary. Going into the 88 games, um, the, they ramped up the training programs about four years out. And all the people in the know, the coaches, they knew that was too late. Funding is also a big difference. Since 2006, the federal government has pumped more than a billion dollars into elite sport development. You can't ask them to go and compete against that kind of quality of athlete and not be prepared. Now they're prepared. The question from this point may be, can we keep it up? Well, it will be tough. Some of Canada's best results came in newer sports, and other countries are going to try to close the gap. It will get more competitive as we go along, for sure. We should be expecting more from our athletes, but we should also be expecting to see increased competition from other countries. South Korea walked away from Sochi with only eight medals, down from 14 in Vancouver, as the host of the next Winter Games. It's expected to make a big push. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.